stock Corvette fans, you might want to skip this video right now because we're going to show you what this 64 is in for. Corvette fans always get a little bit riled when you change a car from its stock appearance to something else, especially something custom like this 64. But don't worry, uh, this car came to us very far from its original condition. In fact, this one was originally blue and it had a different engine and it had been wrecked along the way. So the owner of this car really wanted to do something fun with it and not necessarily restore it back to original. Uh, it came to us in a white color, similar to this, uh, but it did have some fit and finish issues. And again, he really wanted to kind of jazz it up. Uh, so that's what this one's in for. This 350 is actually an Edelbrock crate motor. So it made good power, but the owner wanted a little more reliability and a nice snappy throttle. So we've added a Holley Sniper fuel injection system to it. And to improve the way the car drives, we've gone through and rebuilt the front suspension put some new tie rod ends and ball joints and that kind of stuff, and upgraded it with tubular control arms from Global West. We've also added a bigger Global West sway bar so that this car sticks to the road. Inside the car, the look is pretty much stock, although it's a totally different color than when it was new. Again, this was blue inside, but it's been converted to a red Corvette interior. And we had to do some upgrades like a new wiring harness on the dashboard and, and fix some detail items. But the big impact on this car is not the inside, it's the outside. Obviously, the most eye-grabbing feature on this 64 Corvette is the paint scheme. And this one was really fun to do. Our painter Jeff had a lot of fun laying out the asymmetric stripe pattern in the multiple colors. Uh, it's got kind of a, a dark red and a charcoal with a red pinstripe. And there are a lot of contours on this Corvette and to make the stripe look right, uh, these aren't straight. They follow around the contours of the car and down the hood and the nose and wrap through the articulating headlights. So it wasn't as easy as it looks. And the design idea actually came from the owner who sent us some drawings, but left it up to us to refine that and tweak it and make it happen. We posted a few pictures of this car in the paint booth on our Instagram account and people went nuts uh, because it is, it's very stunning. Those who like modified racy looking paint schemes dig it. Those who like stock stuff were giving us a thumbs down. It's all good. This car is uh, built to stop traffic and handle the turns, and that's exactly what it's gonna do. Like any good custom paint job or custom car build, the details are what make the difference. And this car is full of little details, not just in the paint, but in the way our body team refined the body shape after its previous damage to make everything fit nice. We're gonna release a whole video series on this particular car going through the paint process so you can see how it got straightened and how these stripes got laid out and how it got sprayed and even the buffing and polishing stage because it looks shiny now, but it's not quite finished. Uh, if you want some custom work done to your car, it doesn't necessarily have to be an old Corvette. We work on all kinds of cool cars. We'd be happy to talk with you about your project. You can reach us at v8speedshop.com and uh, that is what this car is in for.